Hi right, guys, welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, we just made it to Act 2, uh, so this is the forest encampment, so let's go talk to all the people here. I have seen many an exile come and go, into the forest or into the ground. You seem different somehow. Different good, different bad, it's hard to tell at this stage. The name is Eramir, and for now you have the benefit of my doubt. Those bandits you've encountered out there, they're the dregs of Oriath. And with any foul broth, the nastiest chunks bubble to the surface. The lords of Larceny, Oak, Creighton, and Alira, the self-appointed monarchs of the forest, Creighton in the east, Alira in the west, Oak in the north, and this village, this tribe, we pay their taxes. I would never venture to say that life in Rayclast is easy, but with those three gone, well, living here might just become possible. Alright, uh, I'm gonna actually go back to Act 1 for a sec, because I kind of forgot. Fucking hell, he talks a lot now. Um, I forgot that they, they tell you things in Act 1 after you finish killing uh, the Siren. So Merveil! Oh, and also Elrion is here, but I don't know if I want to talk to him either. Fuck it, we'll do it. I've but one purpose in life now. Defend the last vestiges of faith in this godforsaken land. Well, can't be completely godforsaken. He sent you and me here, didn't he? Now, I've a few trinkets lying about that might be of use to you. Adornments imbued with what little faith I can muster in this accursed place. That said, the more corruption we smite, the more faithful I'm likely to be feeling. I can make some damn fine baubles when my divine ire is up. <sighs> In the meantime, let me know if any of my current pieces catch your eye. You were a welcome... Damn me. I didn't think it possible. All these souls Mervale and her brood have consumed over the years. You've done right by those that are dead, and by those who still might live. Farewell. And so your path leads you here, Exile. Be careful where you step. For as one foot leads the other, so too does each foot leave its mark. A trace of what was. A guide to what will be. Okay, I'm just going to tell you, everything she ma says makes no sense. I, I, I don't even want to talk to her anymore. But we'll talk to like the main characters. Quite the lady killer, aren't you? That singing squid didn't stand a chance. Knew it from the first time I saw those sharp peepers of yours. Pirates notwithstanding, I thank you on behalf of all the fallen brethren of the waves. Now that the final cadence has been played, no one need remember Mervale's song. I thought you were a fool for seeking out Mervale. A fool in love with death. Now, I don't know. Still, you've delivered this coast from the terrors that long held sway here. We may now find some respite, and that's more than any of us could have hoped for. But please, consider this. What have you become when even nightmares fear you? Farewell. Oh, shit. Oh, they're all very deep. Oh, truly. What have you become if even nightmares uh, fear you? All right, let's keep doing Act 2. I am Groost. I hunt boar, hunt to feed my people. You are not a friend to us. You'll need to run faster than boar. Going? Alright, it's... Oh, this is nice-ass man. You and me, we are the same. We dream big, we find new places. We do not tell stories. Stories are told about us. I learn the words, the ways of Oriath. You listen to me, and not pigheads like Groost. Then you will live to find more new places. The road? It runs east and west of here. To the west it passes the bandit woman's camp, then turns south to the sea. But you say it is now blocked? I have seen a strange thing in the rock by the south pass, like one of Groost's carvings but of stone. You should go look at it. What has been closed might be opened again. I am Yina. Keeper of the spirit. Are you a kind exile, like Eremir? 
He is good to us, helps us. You will stay and help us too, yes? A beast hunts us in her dreams, a great white beast, tortured and maddened by bad men, a long time gone. She will come here one night to tear, crush and eat. Her pain tells her to. Find the white beast and end her pain before she shares it with us. All right, that's it for all the characters. Um, so now we have our quest set out for us. We need to deal with the bandits. They're all over the fucking place. Uh, apparently we need to fix the gate here. That's that's been blocked off. Uh, and also kill the white beast. So, Pat, what do you want to do first? I don't know. Let's go kill that beast thing everybody keeps bitching about. Yeah, there's two ways you can go. Generally, you're supposed to go the bottom way, because that's usually how the, the monster level is compared with your level, but it honestly doesn't matter. We've been killing most things anyways. So we're, we're, we're right on video part. games. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't really care what order we do things in. Mike. Oh, shit. Of death and desire. Life will lose its way in the darkness to come. This land must take its final rest so that it can rise once again in undying perfection. I honor the darkness with my art to prove that I am worthy of a place in its dream-made reality. To the blind of sight and numb of touch, my sculpture may seem complete. Far from it. Like a raw and chewy steak, it requires marinating. And not with any mundane cooking concoction. My sculpture must be steeped in the delectable juices of deadly corruption. Only then will it be palatable to my undying patron. Today, you and I shall devote ourselves to the pursuit of art. There is no greater cause. My sculpture complains that it is thirsty, and yet the usual fare seems not to satiate it. However, I believe I have a solution. Find a pack of living creatures, slaughter them, raise them, and bring them back here. Be selective, though as these creatures must be absolutely feckoned with corruption. Thankfully, they will be easy to spot. The most corrupted usually are. Alright, so we gotta go kill two corrupted monsters. We gotta find them and bring them back to her. Oh, well, she's pointing this way, and then the map gives us a handy-dandy giant orange arrow. Yeah. Thank fuck it's not Haku. I'm tired of Haku. Oh, right? I know, right? Anybody but Haku at this point. I'll take both of these guys, they'll follow me. Hey, Pat, I have my own summons, fuck you. Oh, uh, I'll fuck you too. There you go, drop some shit for us, and uh, she has something to say. Really? You've completed my errand, Exile. Forgive my surprise, but I'm simply not used to reliability from the living. The dead are loyal beyond question, but the living, they have their own needs, and lusts, fears, and fancies. Easily distracted they are. I compliment you on your powers of concentration, Exile. And should you note my presence in the forest encampment, do engage me in discourse. I am sure I can make use of that keen focus of yours again. Alright, I'm not sure how much I want to talk to, this, to, to these masters anymore, but there's only like... a bunch of them. <laughs> there's only like a bunch of them. You know, I was kind of taking the time to look a little closer at her art, and it is terrifying actually. Let's get away from her. Don't talk to her anymore. What, what is her art like? I don't know, it's basically just tying bodies together and then slathering it in bud, bol uh, blood and like bone sauce. Alright, I'd mouse wheel zoom off. I'm gonna actually look at that. I mean, I don't know. She looks fine to me. She's just kind of floating. Obviously, because she's a fucking Saiyan. Holy shit, I never thought about that. You're talking about her totem? How it's like made out of. Yeah, fucking... her art, her totem thing back there, which oh, is literally the just. Who gives a shit about the totem? It's her art! I would give a shit about the totem. It's I mean, that's what we're getting bodies totem. for. Composite bow. You know, probably at some point during this run, I should show you what you do if you can't find a good weapon. No, that, that would definitely be a thing to do. I show how you craft. I mean, you've been keeping all the currency up to now, but I don't think we found a single orb of alchemy, though. Which is rather we fucking unfortunate. I mean, I think... essences work kind of like that by upgrading an item to a rare item, which is what you can get with the most, like, consistent properties, but... I mean, there are vendors and things that, uh, while well, the vendors usually sell stuff. Hey, look, it's Nice. He's a rock. Hope you boys are being Nice today, Pat. 
Hope you boys are being nice today. <laughs> we may or may not went to, you know, Snake Church Country. Oh, oh I it's may just, have wanted uh, to strap leather, but whatever, okay. Ah, uh, sorry, my bad, bro. There. I mean, Jesus. It's evasion. You don't need that shit. Unfortunately, I kind of need these sockets, though, so you can have it. So, the He's sockets... The sockets are kind of important to me. Oh, give me that thing. Never mind, don't give me the thing. I Man, I want to fucking... I didn't even get to see it. He's slurping up so fast. Pretty much. So we're looking for a cavern, and it looks like we see it just down here. There's like two doors, and we just want the dead. It's not a door, it's a, it's a cave, Mike. You've been in caves, I know you have. I love caves. Ah. Fucking caves. Don't get that uh, white moss on your nose, or you'll die. Uh, oh man, we're just finding chromatics up the ass, but they're from vendors. I know, right? The, the, the two times I checked. Now, if I find a good sword, their bodies. If I find a good sword. I'm gonna go straight to fucking uh, lacerate. I've actually been waiting for a good sword. I'm surprised you didn't pick up Sunder while we were in town. Oh, is it there? I don't know. Yeah. You get out of level. You got a level twelve back in Act One. I do. Yeah. Oh, my gang Sunder. That would be. That would be new. Immune to damage. Yeah, this guy's weird. Like, we just gotta keep killing the shitty summons, which I, I mean, I get that. Engineer oh, shard. Shit. That's a new one. How many, Mining shard. How many uh, en engineer shards do we need? 20 shards becomes an en engineering uh, org. Um, when in doubt, it's 20. So you do need a degree to play this game. Oh, here we go. This is kind of neat. Look at this place. So like yeah, a, it's a, just a big fat fucking point. dead end. Good job. Yeah, yeah, but it, it may it may be important at some point. You know, just yeah, it. but yeah, no, there's no way that thing that has the giant glowy light on it that looks completely different than everything here in this cavern, <laughs> and that weird door gonna be important. What the fuck is this banjo kazooie? We won't figure out what that's used for the, until the next game. Jesus, uh, man. You mean ukulele? Do uh, we do not speak of garbage <laughs> around here? <laughs> you know, some people were really upset I didn't finish that. Actually, the game was just so mediocre. I, are you maiming them or am I maiming them? Or, 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 I don't have maim. Uh, so it's all me. I can't. I, I see the fucking like little squiggly things above their head. All right, Pat's gonna kill that. I don't care. Shit. Dude, I don't know how this works. I, all I know is I'm just stunning things occasionally. Stunning them pretty. Stunning them pretty often, actually. I mean, it does appear to be that way. Yes. Yeah, I feel like the first hit stunned them. Fucking yeah, hell. because ground slam, uh, ground slam has the uh, ground enemy blast. Uh, what? It's ground slam. Like you said. Oh, great white beast. He is he is great and white. I'll give but him that. It, but is he a beast? We don't really know him. We can't we can't make that kind of judgment. Yeah, All right. We're good. I wonder what these weird swirlies here are that we keep seeing at every little mini boss encounter. Actually, I don't even know. Or or whatever. I, I don't remember. You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm not going to spoil the thing that you know. I don't really know. I know you know it. Oh, no. Wait, no. Never mind. I know you don't know it. You forget so easy. Can't jump over. I'm the fuck. Can't jump over the fucking waist high fucking stone wall, unfortunately. They're trying to jump over it. I can't do it. Like, I don't even have a complete brain and I remember things. Come on. I don't even have a complete brain. Alright, so we're gonna just get the waypoint in this area, so we have a place called the Crossroads. You said we're gonna skip the waypoint? No, we're gonna get the waypoint. Okay. Pretty sure you said skip, but alright. Okay, Pat's gonna skip it, but I'm gonna skip it. I might actually skip it by accident. Well, I do kind of want to go back to town, though. To get that nice reward. And see oh, if yeah. the quests actually change. I, actually kind of want I know to what we normally do, but... We probably don't want to do what we normally do. It's because we're insane. No, it's called Saiyan. Ah! Wait, no, wait, no, you didn't make the joke. I, I, I jumped ahead, I think, like, two lines on the script. Sorry. Yeah. Alright, let's go back to town. 
Yeah, talk to Yina. The white beast spirit is at rest. No more pain. Take this in thanks from me and from the suffering animal that you have helped. All right, we got a couple kind of belts we can get. Since we're all about that physical damage, we want that. Um, I mean, you can also take the flasks. Usually we just skip this quest, but we're, we're doing it just because reasons. Actually, I can't. Even, I don't even have space for it right now. Fuck it. But we can go back to it later. We just move some things around. You help us. And we all right, take that belt. All right, let's see here. We got a nice helmet. And nothing else particularly tickles my fancy. But we will take the helmet that I picked up earlier. What do you want? Also, I've had a kiwi following me this whole time. I haven't even brought attention to it at this entire time. Hey, I have a giant bug, so I mean, it's fine. Fuck your bug. Your bug's a piece of shit. You, you do not wrong. talk about Jeff like that. He is literally the morale of this team. Hey, by the way, I have an alchemy orb. Oh, okay, good. But I, I, don't... I think I made it from shards, by the way. Uh, I mean, maybe, but... It's like a question of, do I really want to get a sword right now for this shit? I don't really want to. Alright, so what's the quest there right now? I think it wants us to kind of do the way forward and deal with the bandits first, which is weird. I think we should maybe do it in order. So I mean, it depends on if you're going to use Sunder, because you can't, you can't oh, use yeah, Sunder with sunder. a sword. Oh, uh, with what? Uh, can't use Sunder with a sword. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to use Sunder anyway, so let's go back and get that. Apparently, that was available to me at some point. I mean, it's good to every yes. once in a while go here, check out what weapon you have. You go Mace. Uh, and there you go. Sunder has... Uh, he's here. We also use Lep Slam, but we already have used that. Glacial Hammer sucks. Um, I mean, honestly, I can't tell you what's a good skill or a bad skill. Usually if it's single target, it's probably not very good. Uh, but who, I've been using Double Strike forever, so maybe not. It, it really depends upon you. I usually just like going for AoE shit, though. Because uh, this is very much a game about clear speed a lot of the time. So, we just took Sunder. What's Pat trading me? He apparently got a giant fucking mace. I decided to throw that alchemy orb at it. Alright, so if you have a friend named Pat, he'll just randomly throw weapons at you. Yeah, yeah. this is definitely a little bit more DPS. Is it just, is it just a little bit? Damn. Uh, no, it's it's a lot. It's uh fucking almost double. So we're gonna be one hitting shit. It's not the by the way, it's not the skill that's doing it, it's the weapon that does it, so. I think that we should do this pretty much in order of what it's telling us to do here, Pat. So just to keep it simple. Yeah, we um, can do that. Yeah, sounds good. So let's go back to the crossroads and go to the, the top bandit there. All right, let's try out our new mace. And, oh, sorry, our new... Our, yeah, well, it is our new mace with Sunder. Oh, uh, one hits everything. Yeah, but you guys saw how earlier that he had picked up a orb of transmutation, which turned a white item into a blue item with two um, properties on it. There are orbs of alchemy, which are very similar to that, but instead of upgrading it to a blue item, it upgrades it one up to a rare item. The yellow item, which has up to six properties. And it just so happened that when I used it on it, it actually rolled a fairly large amount of physical damage rolls, which turned into a really strong mace for Mr. McHale over here. Yeah, pretty much. I, I, I should mention... Uh, this ability that you see here, that is like basically killing things uh, like on my entire screen, this is considered a melee ability. <laughs> yeah, melee. This, no, no, it's actually tagged as as melee. It's this is considered melee according to the developers, and it's one of the kind of BS reasons. Apparently, melee used to not be very good in this game, and they basically fixed that by making melee into not, not very melee. <laughs> into not very melee. It was slightest. Some of the older skills are still there that are actually melee, like double strike and stuff. That was one of the first skills that they had, and that was how melee used to work. But it used to be kind of shit. But now it's like, they did this and now made melee good. Oh, cast shard. Oh, shards is... Alright, we got golem's blood. That's a really nice node for us. So yeah. So Sunder is basically causing little fucking little mini A everywhere. Your Earthshaker. Oh, uh, yeah. And we got a little bit of a freezing shrine here, which is uh, going to add a bit of uh, freezing to everything around, around me. 
Well, a little Temporary. bit of cheese. Spirit is spent. I have major mana issues. Yeah, I'll get clarity, which is an aura that gives mana regeneration in a little bit. That's if you want to be late and play as a team. I know, right? Who the fuck plays as a team? Except Sid my Blast. Alright, there's a crisis smoke cloud on you, so you can be like fucking. Smoke bomb! Yeah, pocket sand kind of shit. Shishasha! Hey, superior double strike. Alright, that's kind of nice. The superior gems is something like it's adding a little bit more attack speed uh, because of the quality of the gem. And you can raise the quality through currency items, but uh, we won't use that. No. There's there, better there ways. Enough. Yeah, there's better ways of using it. I mean, they're always better to quality up, but yeah. Where the fuck did your zombies go? Oh, they're there. They did. Yeah. Oh, did I get a good... Did I sell... I, did you, I think I sold the belt I got as a reward, without even looking at it. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> look at this great belt! I, 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 didn't, I identified it, and I didn't even look at it. I just was like, I'm gonna sell I bet, my I bet Nessa was thinking, man... That bitch did not care about that uh, thing I gave it doesn't him, matter. It doesn't matter, necessarily. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And we're just following the road right now because we're trying to find that man. I'm not on the road. Well, Pat's a fucking, like, wants to be a non-conformist. I'm a nihilist. I think that's a good one. I mean, it's not really nihilism. Well, okay. well, unless you think you're better okay, than the road. Okay, okay, Professor Frond. I get it. Do, do, do you think you're better than the road, Pat? Yes. Well then, I guess you are an Eyeless then. Mike, my, my character just eats these uh, these curves in this road, all right? <laughs> Fucking grab a driver. Oh, we just like slow Mike down. got mad. Like Mike got mad at me for slowing down or when I was trying to turn. Like I'd set my blinker on and then I would slow down, and it's like Can a you ninety shut degree the turn. Fuck up while I talk to this guy. Your trouble. I like that. Now what I don't like, Oak and Alira and their thieving mangrels. I keep taking what's mine. I'm thinking you could do something about that. What's in it for you? The amulets around Oak and Alira's necks. The ones like mine here. There's power in them beyond reckoning. Take two heads and two amulets. Bring them to me. And take half the power. That add up right for you. Dude, is that canned? Fucking talking British as fuck. Alright, so... Usually, the way, so this is an interesting th little quest mechanic thing. So if we kill all the bandits, so we have to we have to either like help one of them or we help none of them and help Aramir back at home base. Which there's no detriment to that. Just a matter of what reward you want. So this one gives you attack and cast speed, three percent chance to dodge attack, six percent increased movement speed. Um, I'm gonna guess that maybe later down the line these are probably gonna change because most of these are kind of kind of trash. But what I'd say is, if you're going for at least two of those things in this in the passive tree, if two of those sound really nice, maybe consider getting it. Uh, this one not as much because nobody really goes for movement speed or dodge in in the tree like that. So I don't know. Um, I mean, it's it's just two passive points is really you you just gotta weigh everything against two more passive points, and that's two more passive points to get damage or life or something in the tree. That's actually pretty useful um i mean that's that's up to you uh what you do but we're gonna kill him now if the party member disagrees with you uh make sure you're all on the same page because you're gonna fight each other then it's actually a common way of pvping in uh and uh, <laughs> uh un unwanted pvp in uh the vanilla game or we're sorry in hardcore not vanilla game hardcore people do this so you never do this in a party when you're uh in hardcore so I'm gonna assume I may or may not have killed people doing that by accident a couple times. Yeah, we don't hardcore. This guy's fucking reward is literal shit, so. It's good if you're dodging, but you're not gonna be dodging. 3% though? Shit stacks up, yo. I mean, you get 3% here, 6% uh, there, and uh, like 6% on a pair of boots, and then some stuff out of the skill tree, and then there you go, you're up to 22% chance to dodge stacks. I pity your mind was gonna switch as your blades, bridge rat. Alright, we got him. Alright, let's go. Get the fuck out of here. I have seen warriors in black in the east. They are from your Oriat. Better fed, better armed than you, exile. Oriat did not want you, so why does it follow you here? 
you will understand what you see more than I. Go east and find these warriors in black. If there is danger to us, I need to learn of it. Travel far. All right. Well, he just told us now about uh, some intruders in black in the Chamber of Sins. So that's what I was actually kind of waiting for. We usually just skip to that one every time. <laughs> so we'll go back to the crossroads and do that. Yeah, Groose doesn't really like uh, exiles. Considering the fact that he spit on us, I think you're right. Oh shit, there's a ghost. It's spooky. Oh. There we go, we killed him. So this guy can go into bosses or like uh, rares or. You know, it can go into. Notice other... that guy's got like a flame effect over him. That means he's been touched by the ghost and will drop more items. Yeah, but usually you want to chase them into powerful monsters to make them even more powerful, kind of thing. Like this guy. Yeah, which I didn't see before, so I just killed him right off the bat. Alright, let's fucking do this one. Smashy, smashy. Fluttering Essence of Fear. Oh, he dropped actually two. Oh, look at oh, the he's got second. Hatred and Fear. Oh, uh, there's also Kalav. Headstaver. Alright, so one of them gives cold damage and cold resistance. Depending on what you use it on. The other one's about minions dealing more damage and having life and movement speed and stuff. So one of them, Ooh. I think Pat's doing... I will doing, take the fear. Well, you can take both of them because I don't fucking want them. Oh, wow. Wow. L literal fucking trash. No, I'm just joking. But Pat, Pat usually... The thing about those is that if you take three of them, like the kind of thing that you saw with the, I, that I did with the flask, you take three of them, you can upgrade into a new one. So splitting that across two, two people is actually a really bad idea. I figure since we always play together. Because I'm not always making summoners. Uh, I make them a lot, but I don't, I'm not making one now. Which is surprising to me, but whatever. Yeah. A place of soiled dreams. I'll have to tread carefully. This here. fucking mace is amazing. Hey, no problem. That fuck. was my that was my RNG for the day. Shit, I almost complimented you. Fuck. I know you almost got there. One of these days. These days I'll trick you with it. I'm a bit of a tricky dick. Uh, let's go fight about your your driving somewhere. Your driving sucks. It, okay, look. I turn. <laughs> I like. Okay, you're taking a 90 degree turn, right? You're going straight, and the road's to the left of you, and you're you, you know you got to pass through another lane to get to it. It's like I slowed death. down. I slowed down to fucking take that turn. Pat, you shouldn't do that. You're going too slow. The people behind you are gonna hit you. No, uh, no, I've that's been I done it. For like, that's what I like 200 feet. All right. So uh, okay, uh, what did you say? Uh, you know, I, I I just I don't see a way of, of of telling this story without like literally being an egotistical piece of shit. Like when I'm talking <laughs> about my car, so you know what? We'll just leave it off at that. Fucking my, my, no, Michael. All you have to say is I'm a fast driver and I like to go fast. The car goes fast. Oh shit, Caster, that's a good item. Here, so this is uh, referred to the rare item with new random properties. It's a good item for many reasons, and then and the main the main one is it's actually considered a baseline currency for this game. So usually, yeah. things are bought and sold in in cash orbs if you decide to actually trade with people. Uh, so it's kind of an important thing to know. So we found one little dead end. Uh, this map here is divided up into uh, whoops. Let me put put the map. Divide up into three corners, well, technically four corners. We started in this corner up here, this, this corner over here. There's gonna be one over there, and there's one, gonna be one over there, like in the far corner. And one of them has the way forward, and if it's not the way forward, it has a nice blue pack for you to kill. Also an excellent farming place. One of my favorite. One of my favorites. One of my favorites, yep. So this one, this one's kind of a nice map. I think I heard someone casting something and it wasn't me. It may have been you. It was probably me. Because okay. I, 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 my character screams when she casts. Okay. Just sort of like, Har! Ah! Ah! Uh, so this one happened to be the one with it, but we can kind of go into the middle of the uh, this actually because it's kind of interesting. I think I think the middle is interesting on this map. That, that is the way forward, but there's like, yeah, here's the waypoint. An ancient revere device. Reverie. Inquisitor. Whatever. If you attempt to transmogrify a virtue gem without the proper mental preparation, you will be a puppet master working strings made of vipers. Remember, these gems are phantasms in crystalline form. Alive, 
with volitions inscrutable. Master conscious dreaming, as I instructed you. Your death would mean little to me, Malagaro. It's what your demise could unleash that concerns me. Malachi. Oh, there you go. Dude, that guy sounds like such a dick. Yeah. Your life means little to me, Malagaro. So it's very confusing that you have a character called Malachi talking to Malagaro. I feel like they could have, you know, added a little bit more distinction there, but whatever. Or is that being petty? Yeah, I think so. Also, you really should have given me the the, the alchemy orb to, to roll the item, actually. I wasn't thinking about it. It was just one of those things. Yeah. I was like, you know what? You had I one, and you didn't think about it. Probably would have rolled an axe, and I probably would have shown people what the fuck that it meant. Then. Now I just randomly have a really good mace for no reason whatsoever. Other than yeah, the fact no, that you use a it. Me, you described it, but it's not as good as actually seeing it. I'm sorry. Whatever, it's okay. I'm gonna have to restart the LP now, thanks, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, not again. Okay, so Whatever that one game we were playing all over again. Shabby jerk, him. I don't know, i just give you all the currency. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, we have a strong box here. I tone it down, you're gonna get them overexcited. I'm fucking excited. Alright, this is another mechanic. So, they wanted to have some chests in the game that actually meant something that you opened. They have better rewards and stuff, so this is what one of the leagues is one of our favorite leagues, the Strongbox lead. League. Anyways, so I have I don't worry, Pat, I have currency to roll it. So you can roll it with alchemy orbs, you can make it into a rare strong box, um, or we'll just do, turn it magic because we don't want to waste like a bunch of bullshit on that. So we're gonna throw one transmute at it. So this one says three additional rare items. The way it works is it has for two mods, it has one good mod and one bad mod, so I'll just add the bad mod that you'll see on it right here. There you go, revised nearby monsters with Onslaught. And Pat can get rid of the corpses for me. I mean, if you have one good mod, you generally don't want to get the bad mod anyway, so... Uh, I, I just, think it's alright to get him. I was just showing that you could roll again, and now we can go open it. I like, I like these boxes. Yeah, they're actually a lot of fun. Ah, there you go. Dropped a significant amount of uh, good shit here, so... Of course, Pat took the one thing I wanted, so... Okay, good. fine. Jesus. And I don't even want it. Actually, that's good. Yeah, you do. This. Yeah, of course I do. Uh, why do you know me like so? I still have Lacerate. If I had a fucking axe, I would be able to do it. I would be able to do Sunder and the other thing. Well, I'm sorry. I, just, yeah. I had an a, a hammer with me and I thought, alright. Christmas is officially ruined. Good. Fucking good. You soulless ginger piece of shit. You killed Santa Claus. Didn't you? Actually, isn't Santa Claus fucking ginger? Santa Claus is a ginger, yeah. He's also a corporate whore, because he fucking is made by Coca Cola or something, so you know what? I, I don't believe in commercialism, Pat. Well, do, do you believe in the Krampus then? I fucking don't know what you're talking about now. Alright, one second. This hallway here that you saw kind of comes here and, and arches up this. This is instantly the way forward, and it, honestly, it's like easy to find anyways, but. Just interesting. And here's Piety. I think. Does nothing clench that proud jaw of yours, duelist? Do share your secret with me sometime. Oh no, she went through a portal. It's a really fancy looking portal. I want a portal like that. that it slaughtered everyone. Help me. Where, where's the where's fucking She's Helen? down there. Oh, there she is. Fucking... I'd like to get down there too. Of course you would. Fucking piece of shit. So there's something here. Slaughtered everyone. Fucking fit it light us. You don't like my totem. You know, I forgot I ha well, actually don't really have a totem. Actually, I should put that totem on now. You know, I don't really use my fucking double strike anymore, do I? I just fucking sunder everything now. Whatever, it's all good. Alright, rusted spec, we'll take that, and we'll t click this strange device. Beautiful gem. Guess we'll look at the lore up here first. I bequeath this transmuter device to you, Inquisitor Maligaro, in recognition of your devotion to our sublime art. May it be the chariot that conveys your dreams into reality. Malaga, Thaumaturge Laureate to the Empire. I, I don't even ask me to pronounce that. Holy shit. That word. Transmutia device? 
Uh, no, well, the fucking his title. Anyways, let's talk to this person. Piety was after a creation of Melagaro's called the Baleful Gem. It's nearby, and it's something that heartless bitch must never get her hands on. You have it already. Thank innocence. All right, take it to the Esmeri village by the river. I'll meet you there. For my days with the Ebony Legion are done. All right, do we want to get the one thing in this area, Pat? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. She is a very fast turncoat, by the way. You notice that? Like, it's it's like not even like thirty minutes, and it's like you know what? This random guy and or girl, if you know you are that, uh, decide, and you're just like you know what? Fuck, fuck my allegiance that I probably had all my life. I'm going with them. This seems like the right thing to do. I mean, she did just betray like everybody, I think, and she used that gem to create Fidelitis that killed everyone. No, oh, Fidelitis was already there. She was just running from it because she couldn't kill it. Oh, really? But it killed yeah, Fidelitis. Is, was, like lore-wise, Fidelitis was like Malagaro's boyfriend that he like turned into a monster or some shit. Ooh, but I know. Monsters. Man is the most dangerous monster of all. Nothing? Okay, fine, no. whatever. I, I don't know what you're fucking on about. I just, I just like to... You watch Stargate! How do you not know that? What? Did you watch Stargate? What the fuck? Never mind. Fuck it. What the fuck are you talking about right now? <laughs> don't worry about it. I believe I could give the great Teresa a run for his money now. Uh, how does that have anything to do with Stargate? You know what? It don't matter. Ain't none of this matter, Mike. Alright. Fucking confusing uh -oh. the shit out of me. All right, yeah. we we knew there was another trial. So I'm not reading that thing because it's like. But it's different than the last one. Fucking hell! What is it fucking talking about this time? The path. Okay, I'm justice, fucking whatever is listening. And perfidious, the steps of ambition and despair, egotism and doubt. All right, I literally don't care. Dude, just down guys. The game is free. Fucking download it if you care about that much about every single piece of fucking data. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the good stuff, you know, when the people talk, the, the actual stuff. story around it. As Mike just runs through the saw blades. Oh yeah, there's saw blades, I forgot, yeah. Wow, well, way, way to fucking not even care, Mike. I really don't. It's all good. These boots suck. Oh shit. Pine buckler. A nice fucking thing right here. Fucking 73 to life. That's pretty nice. Basically, oh, Whoa. dude. Ooh, if this is good. Oh, that might be actually really good. Dude, look at this. Yeah, fuck you, ass of what? Yeah, superior loss rate on top of that. 16%. Well, yeah. then. Well, then. I, you know what? I, I think this. it's a sign, Pat. It's a sign. I'm sorry, Pat. But it's a scion. You can take that, I don't give a fuck. Alright, we're gonna use this, we're gonna use this. But did I mean, you find a good, like, one handed thing? I mean, it's not really that good. It's really not that good, actually. <laughs> and I, oh, you know what the other problem is? I've already invested into two handed shit. Why don't you take the shield, actually? The shield is okay. actually super nice. Oh my god, it is so loud! Uh, I mean, it's not that loud. It is on my side, holy shit. Stop being such a pussy. I need to put probably some other shit in my other hand. There we go. Alright, fuck this lacerate gem. We're gonna have the other one now. Fortunately, we can't use it yet, because Pat decided to make a really good sledgehammer instead of a fucking other weapon, <laughs> but you know. Why are you complaining? I, I, I'm gonna complain no matter what. Alright. There is a fine line. We did miss one, but we'll get it later. It's, not, it's in this the act. Alright, we can go back. Is fear. All right, I. The oh. She is alive. She wants to stay with us, not to go back to her people. I say we take her traitor's heart to the chief. Ask that the warriors in black leave us be. I sleep less, but no more, thanks to you. Elena gave me these. Use it, or cast it away. I do not care. I have no time for Elena's breed of peace. I was gonna say I probably should leave it off here, but whatever, I guess not. Alright, so we got Andy, Frenzy. Enduring Cry is a really good one, and we got some Herald, so we're gonna take Herald of Ash, it's a really good one for us. Return and from the vendor we're gonna buy 
Even though we don't have the int requirement for that, but we'll solve that in just a second. Uh, I guess we'll finish talking to everyone here. I, I probably should end it off. Fuck it, I'll end it off. We'll talk to everyone later. See you Goodbye, guys. everybody. Bye.